but domestic violence continues to be a very, very serious problem uh, in the greater Harris County area and beyond. This is really a national uh, epidemic. Uh, we see it every day. We've seen tragic situations involving murder-suicide, yeah. uh, intimate partner violence is usually at the root of the vast majority of the homicides we investigate. And so it's something that, as a community, we must continue to send a message that it's not acceptable, it's against the law, and that we're going to stand together to make sure that we put a stop to this. It impacts far too many people. Beyond that, the children that live in those households, and then the community beyond that. You know, these individuals then are unable to go to work because they have perhaps injuries or if, if not death. And so it's something we have to take a stand. And I want to commend KPRC for hosting this phone back to give information to the community because that's really what it's about, resources and raising awareness. Absolutely, thank you for that. And when you hear about all of these cases and you know that it's really hard for sometimes an abused person to leave that relationship, what kind of advice would you give them to kind of give them some courage or give them some hope that there are ways to safely leave? You know, you don't want to just up and leave, but there are ways to safely leave. And Harris County has a lot of organizations. We see them here. We've had them on our shows for the past couple of days. Um, what kind of advice and, and encouragement would you give someone who's been abused? Well, first and foremost, I think it's important to approach it with empathy. Uh, let them know that we understand, not be judgmental. Uh, that we understand that there's a cycle of, of violence uh, that uh, that exists and, and many times there's a lot of factors that go into uh, the reasons that it becomes difficult. It may be financial hardship, it may be uh, lack of education, it may be uh, fear, it may be love sometimes. Uh, so there's a, a number of different factors involved and, and we understand, we know it's not easy, we're not going to try to minimize that, that it's not going to be a challenge, but we want them to know above all they're not alone. There's plenty of resources, we're here to help and we, we just want to make sure that they know um, the, the reality of the situation, but that it's also uh, possible to be able to successfully navigate out of a situation because we want them to stay alive. Yeah, and then what message do you have for abusers? Mm -hmm. Because this is something that they're not going to be able to get away with. You guys take yeah. this very serious in Harris County. You prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. So what message do you have for those people who are thinking of raising their hand and hurting somebody? Absolutely. Well, again, it's not acceptable. It's against the law. Even something as simple as a, as a push, a slap, something that some may think, well, it didn't escalate to, to, to much or there's not any bruising or anything. It's against the law. It's unacceptable. It won't be tolerated tolerate it, you will go to jail. And it's something that, again, we want to just emphasize that you're also teaching uh, your, your children and your daughters about how, how to have unhealthy relationships. So, you know, you're also impacting the next generation. And there are programs available for batterers. For example, APTA has a, a batterers intervention prevention program. So there are resources out there if they understand that they're having uh, issues or abusive, get help. You know, it takes a lot of, of counseling, a lot of deep work, but it's possible and we want them to turn the page and move forward and hopefully get all this uh, corrected.